Chris here and welcome to another episode on the channel you can see we're not on the ocean today we're back in Georgia at my home this is my backyard if uh, anyone any of you cared to ever know we came back to Georgia Saturday morning with one purpose and that was to get the new Rodan <clears throat> mounted on the 17 Cape Horn we did uh, get it done and took her out on the river this morning, tested her out, everything looks good, but I just wanted to talk to you about how we did it and uh, what, what I decided to do battery wise with the, you know, with the system. It's a 24 volt, 80 pound thrust, um, Rodan HD. And uh, I, w I went with lead acid batteries and I, I put them in that console right there and I wanted to just show you kind of what we did for the install I didn't video the install it was hot yesterday and uh, you know it was, it was just hot and it's a lot of struggles every every single thing I'm about to show you on this install was a head scratcher at some point or another for whatever reason and I'm gonna tell you why when we get there but uh, my fender got kind of jacked on the way home yesterday that tire blew out and it folded that fender and uh, I, I got it back together pretty good it ain't really square with the tire anymore the problem <clears throat> was this bracket right here is bent up now it's not it's not level I need to get a big pry bar and pry down on it but let's talk about the Rodan that's pretty much the point of the video I was real fortunate when I mounted it that I didn't have to remove my nav light at the front i was worried about that and as you can see on the 17 um it, it, it fit really nice between the edge of the rail and the cleat there on the front i did remove my handrail if y'all you know seen the videos before before this one the boat had a handrail going all the way across the front and i opted to pull that off before i cut it and um, i'm really just going to try the boat out with um without the handrail for a little while and if i decide i need it then i'll cut it and put it back on the trolling motor uh the only thing you had to mount was the quick little puck that mounts inside of here with this rod so mounting was pretty easy came with a nice uh nice bracket and every or a nice not bracket but well it is a bracket but it also came with a little template so you know where to drill your holes um, I went with a 24 volt, 36 volt capable plug, quick disconnect, and it just plugs in and out. And uh, I mounted it right there, just so it'd be, you know, out of the way best I could. The wires are coming out through there, running down the channel. There's a channel right here to feed power to the nav light. And we were able to access that to run our wire into the center console. But let me warn you of something, something that happened. When you, you know, you see that this is open and oh yeah, I'm going to be able to get behind this with my arms. There's a shelf here that is the same height as the deck that goes probably up. See, I can't even reach under it. It's at least... It's at least eight inches under here. See, my arm has to go that far before it's even able to come up at all. Y'all, yesterday installing this thing, I was laying so funky in this hole to get my arm up and around that shelf to be able to screw in the back of this plug and these bolts, believe it or not. Um, I was able to get those you know, pretty easily, but it was kind of tricky. But this one here, whoo I almost drilled a hole in my boat that was not gonna work and I was worried <laughs> but we made it work all right lock these back if anyone's got an update a latch that'll go here that's a little bit better than that I'm interested in knowing I've got the console open and we've you know we've talked about the front mount wire plug wires coming through the wires come out right down there you can see right there those the wire coming out and now it's a 24 volt system so I had to mount two batteries if you can see they both fit behind the fuel tank but 
there's a hole down there down the back of the tank and uh, I had to build this wooden bridge going across to have somewhere to sit the battery trays and so I could mount so I could strap the batteries in because I didn't want them you know bouncing around out there in the ocean and uh, that tray or that that bridge I put together is, is working really well I mean we just did it but um, we did take the boat out and I mean they're still there but open ocean will be the true test but that's how I did it I just put a two by six measured 38 inches I remember the measurement and uh, went ahead and mounted I cut a two by six 38 inches went ahead and mounted the battery trays on it centered off both ends because I did a little measuring in here before I did it and um, got it in here and then got the the edges of it mounted countersunk into the stringer on the boat so the bridge is fully uh you know the, the bridge the mount is is secure it's not if the batteries jump the bridge isn't jumping you know the the straps on the batteries are what's going to hold them so uh then you know battery trays two 12 volt batteries the uh the wiring you know i used a 10 2 gauge wire and uh the power wire off of the switch at the, or the plug at the front is running to the 60 amp breaker and off of the, the other end straight to that that positive terminal on that battery i picked up this breaker at a boater's world locally here it's pretty nice um you just turn it on you just you see you heard it beeping it, the trolling motor is now on and it's, it's beeping and now to kill it you just push that button back and it kills it so when I get out there all I've got to do is just lift the console flip that switch for the day and it's good to go in series so negative to positive positive negative and the ground is coming out of our hole down there around the tank right here straight to the negative on that battery and then I've got a pigtail here connecting those to put them in series and that is pretty much the install I had a lot of concerns putting this trolling motor on the boat with the lead acid because we're talking about a 17 foot center console and this is a big trolling motor man i I'm, i hope it changes the game for me out there in the gulf but i appreciate y'all watching if you have any questions let me know in the comments and i'll see y'all in the next one